foreign ministers and officials from 60 countries are meeting in Rome today to discuss the growing threat of the Islamic State group in Africa. While IS has suffered territorial defeat in Syria and Iraq, the influence of the jihadist group is growing across the African continent in countries like Mozambique, the DRC and the Sahel region of West Africa. Officials hope to come up with what they say is a coordinated and coherent plan to, to tackle ISIL. So let's bring in a security analyst. We have with us Willem L, Senior Training Coordinator at the Institute for Security Studies, joining us live via Zoom from Pretoria. Thank you very much, Willem, for your time. So concerns are growing that ISIL influence is thriving here in Africa. How does this influence manifest itself and what do you think is contributing to this growth? Uh, good morning to you. Yes, unfortunately so, uh, you know, these type of groups, they only thrive in conditions and where these conditions are viable for them to, uh, to, to thrive and to operate in. And unfortunately so, in Africa, it seems to me that, that we are already uh, prone to recreate these conditions where instability is and where people are marginalized, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, to, to for these groups to infiltrate them and then to, to prey on the on the dissent and the discontent with the, with the uh, local communities. We saw that they entered into uh, to do Libya, they became part of the, of, the, of the fighting there. They also used Libya as a base to, to uh, uh, infiltrate and to further work in the Sahel. We saw in Nigeria that uh, they actually attacked the Boko Haram uh, uh, faction and they actually claimed to have killed the leader of the Boko Haram uh, uh, faction in their infighting. And then also we see it also turned, uh, uh, went down into to, uh, Central Africa, uh, where uh, you, you just mentioned the, the uh, attacks in Beni, uh, where the ADF, the, uh, they swore allegiance with this group. And then also uh, last year, the group in Mozambique uh, also uh, swore allegiance with ISIS. And they also claimed quite a few of the attacks. Right, so we've, we've got groups such as Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab that have been in the continent for quite some time. So how are these new groups managing to penetrate such groups in the continent or to make inroads in the continent while such groups as Al-Shabaab and Boko Haram have been here? Uh, in the first place, they got a lot of funding. Uh, we saw that during the tenure in Syria uh, and the war there, they managed to accumulate quite a lot of funds and that they can now disseminate to these people. They also accumulated a lot of experience in fighting with the allied forces there. And then now what they do is they're offering this money, they're offering, uh, uh, apart from the money, they're also offering the, the extreme doctrines to these people. And then they also uh, offer training to them and then weaponry. All right, we appreciate that. Thank you very much for your time, William Els, joining us via Zoom from Pretoria.